Welcome back to Z Tutorials. This is our HTML and CSS course. And now we want to work on getting our Google Ads in. Now I'm going to show you how to do a search, a site search, that'll also earn you guys some revenue because when someone searches, not only do your results come up, but there will be sponsored results. And if they click on those results, then you will earn money. Now we did this rollover navigation or menu bar last time, and we have a spray classical panel, we have our video embedded, we've all that good stuff in. Now it's just basically putting in that search and I left a little space there next to the navigation bar so we can fit that in nicely snug and easily. So first thing you want to do is go to Google AdSense. If you don't have an account just sign up it's very very easy. Um, I already made a search um, so I'm just going to go through how you actually make it. You just go to AdSense setup then to the get ads tab and it will bring you all these options. Um, go to AdSense for search. Again if you don't have one you just need to sign up for one. It's very very easy. It's google.com forward slash adsense and it takes about three or four days for them to accept you but it costs nothing so when you go to adsense for search it's going to ask you loads and loads of options it's going to ask you the search type you want to put in only sites i select you want to put in your own sites and if you own any other sites put them in as well so that's what i do put in your keywords so mine would be tech talk all that stuff uh, search type you do there's loads of options there it's really easy to do you guys you really I don't really need to go through with it with you that's all you need to do you just press continue I already have it so I'm just going to go into edit settings here so you guys can see what I put in so I have my three sites there zmusic.tk geektalk.tk and ztutorials.tk the optional keywords are dreamweaver photoshop and all that stuff site language English um, it's going to ask you what you want I want the one with the watermark so as you can see my sample up there that's what mine is select text box length mine's 25 pixels but you can change that later on when you get the code anyway you want to make a specific si uh, page for it so mine's going to be geektalk.tk forward slash search and then just press submit and save your settings now we're going to make that geektalk.tk search that's easy you just need to paste in you get two codes one is for the search box one is for the page which is the forward slash search and you just paste that code into that page as well but we're just going to work on the search box because the other thing is just easy you guys will know how to do that anyway so last time we did make this menu and there is a wrap around it and it's just menu if we go into code here you can see it um, our div sorry that div should not be there I'll just delete that there as you can see our div is menu now we want to make a wrap around that to hold the menu and the search in the one thing so we're going to start off by using our open angle brackets we're going to type div id equals to two quotations and menu wrap now if you don't know how to do that go back in my tutorials and i'll show you how to do that properly we're going to close the div under all that code that we had from our menu and inside the menu wrap we're going to have another div and this div is going to be our search box so inside our menu wrap we're going to have our menu which is our rollover menu and we're going to have our search box so there's two things inside our menu wrap we can style our menu wrap to have it centered to have it the 980 pixels and to um, put our search box inside it so if we look in design view it just has one big box around the whole thing because we didn't give it any style attributes now pop into your style.css document go to your code view of course and first off we have our menu wrap so we're just going to go above our menu there we're going to type the hash pound and we're going to go menu wrap and our two opening and cur closing curling brackets we're going to give it a height of 30 pixels because that is the height of my rollover images we're going to give it a width of 980 pixels because that is the width of my site a margin left of auto and a margin right of auto which centers the div makes it nice and centered on the site that's all we really need to do there if we just have a look at that in design as you can see it's after tidying up there it just looks like what it, what it did beforehand but now we need to change the menu width to 700 pixels just so it's holding the rollover image now my pound side um, menu means means uh, the rollover images we're going to get rid of all the margin left and margin right because we don't need that anymore and we're just going to put in a float left so now if I try find that div you will see that it's 700 pixels wide there it is that is our menu div which holds our rollover images and now on the right we can have our search so there's our menu div the big long one 
or sorry, our menu wrap is the big long one, our menu which holds our roll of our images. Now we want to work on our search box. So back into the style, we want to do the hash or pound sign. Search underscore box, open and close our curling brackets. We're going to have a height again of 30 pixels. We are going to give it a width of 280 pixels. We're going to tell that to float on the right. And then we're just going to go into the design view and see what that looks like. You can't actually see anything because it's taking up the whole div. But when I paste in this code, you'll see it. So just go in between them two angle brackets and paste in your code, just like I did there. Um, and there's our search box. Now, it doesn't look like anything in design view. You need to preview it in a browser because those yellow marks and all that. It's just how, how JavaScript works and all that stuff. But when you go into it, it looks pretty good. It's a bit too close to the rollover for my liking anyway. So we're just going to edit that. We're going to give it some different attributes. But it does work as it stands now. That is all you need to do. I'm just going to customize it that little bit more to make it look better and more stylish basically. So on the search box, we're going to change the width to 270 pixels. Which means it will bring it in 10 pixels from the left. And as you can see, it's not fitting now. So what we need to do is in the input type... Our size is 25 pixels now if you remember when we were making it we could change the text box width now that is basically what it is as you can see the text box changed from 25 pixels wide to 20 pixels wide now we're going to go back into our code and just see if 265 pixels width will do and then it'll be 15 pixels away from the rollover and it'll just look better that worked perfectly fine we're not going to mess with it anymore we might have to bring it down a little bit from the top to make it more centered as it stands though it's looking pretty good we might have to yeah I think we're going to need to bring that down a little bit maybe if two or three pixels might do but as that is done we actually don't need to do anything else that is your search bar done um, I'll show you how it's working there at the end I just want to put a margin top here on the search box Let's just go margin top uh, we're going to try five pixels first I think that could be too much. Yeah, it's too much. It's pushed down a bit too much. We're just going to do two pixels. And that looks fine. We're just going to preview that once more in our browser. And it's perfectly centered and it looks very, very good indeed. So I know you guys want to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and just do a search here. Uh, we're going to say Dreamweaver. And click on search. And as you can see, I don't have a page made. So it just brings up this default page. There's all your sponsor results. Now make sure you don't click on them yourself because you will be banned from the Google AdSense program if you do. It's very important that you don't do that. Uh, but as it stands, that's it done. Next up is our Twitter feed. So I'm going to put a Twitter feed there where it says advertisements. So everyone can see my latest tweets and they can join me on Twitter, which is at ZTutorials if you guys want to know. So yeah, that's all we did for today. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again. This is ZTutorials signing out.